Hey gearheads, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be looking at this Jeep. I'll tell you why right after this. What you working on? So we're not gonna be working on this Jeep today. It's just my mom's 2018 Jeep Renegade. And there's a lot of cool things that the factory and the designers put in it that I wanted to show you guys. So the first thing you notice on this Jeep is the iconic Jeep grille and headlights. And that is going to be the basis for most of the things that we find on this Jeep. So let's get started. So we don't have to look too far to get started on this as the light goes out, which probably helps us. In the center of the headlight is the first little Easter egg or design that we see. You got the little Jeep grill in there. How cool is that? As we move to the front door, we have the Beats Audio speakers. And if you look right on the back of it, I'm not gonna flip the camera because that's probably gonna mess everything up. But you can see the Jeep logo is right in there as well. So I have to back up and get out of the sun, which leads me to tell you two more cool things about this. So the emergency brake is automatic. So when you put it in park, the emergency brake goes on and the emergency brake will not come off until you buckle up, which is a good safety idea. So let's get this thing backed up so I can show you the rest. So stepping into the interior, we can see this is a Trailhawk edition. And what they've done with the seats is they've actually put like, uh, what is that? Elevation lines and marks in here with numbers. And I'm not sure if this is related to a certain place or something, or if it's just something they did, not to mention the black with the red stitching seats looks really cool. Here's another thing I almost forgot. If you guys just watched my ramp truck video where I had to cut the wires to pull the door off, they actually put connectors here. So if you do have to pull the doors off one of these, or if you want to go off-roading or something like that, Maybe you wouldn't do it in this one, but in other Jeep models, you can unconnect that and that way you can take the door off and don't have to worry about cutting any wires. Pretty cool. Unconnected. Disconnected. Whatever. So while most vehicles have a tachometer with a red line, this not only has a red line, but they also put a mud splash splosh uh, little design there because, you know, it's a Jeep and people like to go off road. So I think that's a really cool touch that they put in there. Of course, one of the first things you do when you sit down and drive is adjust the mirrors. And if you look close on the sides of the mirror housing, there's another one of those little grills. Those things are neat. Coming back to the outside on the passenger side, I know Dodge loves doing this. And Jeep is kind of in the same family. So if you look over here at the windshield, they have a little Jeep here that's doing a little rock crawl. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see something really cool. So here on the back, the back doors have speakers as well. So you have the, uh, the Beats audio with the Jeep grill in there, as well as the rear seats have the same uh, lines in them with the numbers that I don't know what it means. If you know what it means, comment down below and help me out. So as I mentioned, this is a Trailhawk edition, which is a really cool emblem right there. And of course, they didn't miss the opportunity to put another Jeep grill right here on the taillights. All right, guys, so this is probably the coolest thing can't see it yet, but watch what happens when we look from the inside. So of course, on the inside of the tailgate, they didn't lose another opportunity to put the Jeep grill, but the coolest thing on this whole Jeep is that on the back window, there's a little guy hiking. That is cool. All right, guys, so that's all the pretty cool things on this Jeep. As you noticed, I'm not at home. I'm not even wearing my Dan's Garage shirt. I'm actually out of my parents in Colorado. I had to come out here for a little family emergency, so I don't actually even have my hard drive yet. My sister's sending it out here to me, so I'll have more content to show you guys in the upcoming weeks. But I hope everybody has a great holiday season, and I'll catch you on the next one.